welcome back guys as you can see back on the water um same long location as last time um but instead of going under that bridge into that other water we went to um gonna go down this way weather is definitely much better than it was last week so hopefully you don't get rained out um so let's get rigged up and i'll see you guys in a few okay so the first lure i have tied on today is gonna be a zero puppy a red and white one water's still pretty calm so we're gonna give this a shot Got a little bit of wind picking up right now, so. Might have to adjust the lure if wind doesn't die down a little bit. Went for that what four times? I'm gonna try one more time, but usually don't have a lot of luck following up a peacock that was so aggressive on something. Usually, once he gives it his two, three, four strikes, he's like, Screw that. Oh, there we go. Finally. Whoa. Definitely have to pull out of here. Oh, we can land him. He's got beautiful colors on his fin. After we burst out of here, because this isn't working. He's strong at it and he kind of missed. There we go. Put the pliers. And now here's the other hook. A nice little male in the water he was really flared up his fin was super turquoise but yeah nice first fish that we actually able to hook up into so caught it on the skitter prop if you guys are seeing how much noise and how much water this in this place is, it's crazy. It catches a little bit less fish, but I usually tend to catch a little bit bigger and more aggressive fish. So um, the fact that I don't think too many people kind of fish down this way just because of the limited access is kind of the reason I'm using it because I feel that there's going to be a little bit more more bigger quality fish in here so we're we're definitely targeting them mm. 
know if he rolled on it. Strike two. Oh, there we go. number two super super dark fish they almost had that black color to them there we go He got that really good. He ain't getting out. Oh, look how speckled he is. Pretty cool pattern. Okay. He's got all the hooks in his mouth. It's not gonna end up good for me. Check him out. He's got his stripes and then he's got all these speckled patterns on it. Pretty cool looking fish. Let's get this going back around. So I don't know if you guys have been able to tell but I'm working this bait as hard and as, and as aggressive as I possibly could. I'm not just reeling it in and waiting for the propeller to do to do the work. So, so let me cast it and let me show you. Of course, I had to get a knot on that one. So, so once I'm casting, it's literally the second it hits, it's Look, look how explosive that you know there is no pause I'm not just reeling it in I'm basically ripping it through the water as fast and aggressive as I possibly can you know again again we're looking for the most aggressive fish and you guys saw that right there as we're talking about it you know this, this bait tends to scare off some of the smaller fish and it kind of ringing the dinner bell for those bigger more aggressive fish and as you saw we were talking about it bam that fish came out of nowhere just because we're ripping it as hard and as fast as, as we could so there we go he came back on in the second time Nice and fat.
know if you can tell how red and orange his colors are down his thumb. He's nice and fat. Beautiful fish. Like pound and a half, maybe pound and three quarters. Nice and fat. Oh, there we go. Okay, so a little bit of a dilemma here. Okay. Cut them right on the cheekbone. Another nice fish. Look how red and orange his bottom is. So flared out. Just starting to fatten up. His little hump is still tiny, but definitely a male. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna be it. We'll do one more cast and we'll call it a day. That's it.